Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Here's my twin brother and you're going to be joining us this evening for a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a, a twin. Same again really, isn't it? Same again. A little bit of a wind down of the week. A little bit of a pick me up. Yeah, absolutely. Summarise things. Pick you folk up. <laughs> <laughs> so Make we, you feel a little bit better about yourselves. So we, we recently done a clip. I brought Cameron on my channel, which is my twin brother. This is the first time you're here. By the way, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out where I'm trying to get my channel subscribe. to be. Seriously, just subscribe. But we are twins, and as you can probably tell, we're really, really close. And we done i i brought camera on the channel uh pretty recently and it went really really well we had a whole host of really amazing clip uh comments and it went really it went really well i was really surprised so it was really great um so we're going to do a little bit more than what what we done last time and we're just going to have a bit of a chat we're going to sort some things out um and it's all, I think so much about this life is stress and worry and moving from one weekend to the next. And you know what, Cameron's been pretty stressed lately, but yet I haven't. I'm usually the stressed one. And for me, this past week, everything's gone my way. It's been really, really great, and actually. not gone my way. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So we're going to try and cheer Cameron up a little Get bit. stuff and throw it out the window. Yeah. Really. Now, give my subscribers and, some, and my viewers some advice on how you theoretically throw it out the window. Can you think of anything straight off? Me personally, I just put myself into a room and just scream and shout at myself. Yeah, okay, but... Really, uh, properly what you should do is, well, technically, put it in a bottle, shut the lid and throw it away, really. And in your mind, that helps it disappear. Do you know what? That is really, really good because when you think about what I've discussed on my channel before and Cameron watches my, I hope he does, watches my channel and my clips, that very often I am actually telling everybody and I'm telling myself all the time that nobody is promised a tomorrow. And what Cameron's saying there, put all those troubles and those worries in a bottle, what, what I would use, so Cameron's saying that, what I'm saying is actually enjoy today and look forward to tomorrow. And I actually heard that from a colleague of mine this week, so I'm pinching that person's words. And you know, it's really, really great. One of the things which I try and live by is life is no dress rehearsal. So live each day as though, do you know what, you can't redo it again. So that's really, really great advice. But I, yeah. Another really good thing for when you're feeling down, you're feeling stressed, or life's particularly on top of you, is uh, get out, get some exercise done. Go for a walk. So do you do exercise, do you? Not at the minute. No, but go get out. It's scientifically proven that it helps your brain. So when I used to, I used to do a lot of sport myself. So very, very active. Not so much at the minute, as you keep reminding me. But no, I don't, that's really unfair. No, but I don't. No, he's I not don't. a bully. He's fine. I am not. I'm but not the sensible seriously, one. Here. Seriously, I'm the sensible one. Let me finish it, though, please. I am um, the sensible one here. Cameron has a sense of humour which always gets him through. And you know, I'm in awe of that because we can be dealing with <laughs> you can tell by his, his face at the moment. We can be dealing with a really, really sensitive, really um a real required subject where you really need to be really serious. <laughs> you need to be really serious about it. And just like what he's done, stop doing that. Just stop doing that, please. Right, he can just turn it all around into this big joke. And I can't do that. I sit there and worry about it. Whereas Cameron, right, this is what I get. This is what I get. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. I'm trying to deal with something. And this is what I get. Do you know what? You'd never believe that he has a young daughter. He is a father. And he is in a very senior, um, he's Mixture of all different roles. Cameron is a chef, an absolutely incredible, exquisite artist through food. And he's in a very senior, he's in some senior roles. You would never believe it though, would you, at the moment? You think he was definitely a, not a dentist though. Like, <laughs> ah, are you going to be, are you going to be matching that, are you? So yeah. he never ever gets past this, but I made the decision to have braces. Okay. So I made the decision to have braces. I'm just going to put this up. This is very informal. You've made it so informal. Right. This is the camera here. Right, here, not here. Last time when we looked through my clip, I noticed that I was looking at the camera, camera was looking at the screen and everything on the desk area. Stop it! That looks awful! Okay, so, Cameron, please, camera, there. My subscribers and my viewers would love to see you through the camera, not my screen. Stop doing that, what is that all about? Cameron's had, by the way, Cameron's not long finished work, so you usually get about half an hour wind down, all different emotions, here, 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 all the time, before you actually get genuine Cameron. Um, but yeah, so 
<laughs> this week hasn't been great for you, has it, unfortunately? Be serious, been, please! This week's been a terrible one. <laughs> it's been a really great one for me. Thanks. It really has. Coming. But you know... <laughs> I'll keep taking it and throwing it away. You know what? I'm running out of bottles, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> running out of bottles. You're making me seem like I'm absolutely drunk on here, and there ain't no corks either, because I can't shut the stuff away. <laughs> but the thing is, life is all about, right? You bounce back, you come back again. Brilliant. Absolutely. That's what I keep trying to tell you. But it is, it the is, hard moments make it easier it's and better to take the good yeah. times. And I don't, ha I do try. I love being interrupted. I <laughs> I do try and help, but the thing is, I'm always saying, enjoy today and concentrate on today, for tomorrow isn't even ours yet, so why worry about that? And the thing is, at the end of it, nobody, absolutely nobody can foresee, <laughs> foresee what's in that future. So what I say to Cameron is actually, hypothetically, stop and smell the roses, they're actually quite beautiful, and enjoy what is right in front of us before we run ahead of ourselves about tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? We don't. That is just the thing. And like I always say to him, life is no dress rehearsal. So why on earth? You have to be the best you are today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. And hopefully all those great, wonderful things are going to happen tomorrow because they really, really are. Life is a gift. And that's what I keep telling you. This week has been absolutely rubbish for you. Yes. But tomorrow you get to do this all over again. And how incredible to be able to turn that around and think that it's going to be really, really good. Sunday tomorrow is a bad day. <laughs> yes. But you work on a Sunday. Yorkshire puddings. Shut up. Roast potatoes. And lots of meat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, no. Cameron is a very high-skilled, high-calibre chef. I am in finance. I'm not actually allowed to tell you what I do because I'm in that type of role. But I work in finance, accountancy. Yeah. Cameron is an absolute wizard and an artist on the plane. He does not give himself enough credit for what he can do. And believe you me, and this is another thing with Cameron, when you're always striving for that end goal and you are not enjoying the journey, which very, very often is the most incredible, most enjoyable and amazing part. And you miss out on some wonderful you things. You tend to beat yourself up quite a bit when you haven't reached the goals or yeah. done what you've done at the end of the week. By the way, can you see the mood change? Can you see the mood change? Oh, it'll come back, don't worry. Hmm. I hope it does. Well... So, we were going to be talking about... So, tea. where were we? Uh, no, we were going to be talking about... Tea. On today's channel. <laughs> no, don't be doing that. So, I made the decision to have braces. He always... I didn't. He always <laughs> never Look. lets me forget this. You see that? He never... never <laughs> doing that. He scared <laughs> people away. Oh. He... He didn't want braces. I had braces. Um, I had braces a lot later. I, my braces came off when I was 21, and I love my teeth, I look after my teeth, I pay for them to be, I'll be honest, I pay for them to be whitened, bleached, whatever you want to call it, I visit the dentist very, very often, I have them whitened, scaled, all of that great stuff. Cameron chooses to look after his teeth the way he does. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, but you have got nice teeth. To be honest, you've got nice teeth, you're more relaxed, you look really, really good whenever you go to work, and... We are our own individual what styles. A guy. <laughs> what a guy, eh? Smeezer, <laughs> you. <laughs> Don't be doing that. You smoother. God. No tea. <laughs> no, stop. All right. Calm down. See? You need to bring this down. What a guy. Come on, bring, it, all da bring it down. What a guy. Calm down. All right, let's move on. Calm down. Are you chilled? Chilled. Can you move on? We'll move on. Composure. We're composed. Good. Okay. So... He's not, not really. Do you know what? He's trying to hold all this in. He's not, not really. But there we go. It's been a tough week for Cameron, so I can uh, I can allow him to let off some steam. I'll allow him to let off some steam. Cameron, did you see my new um, style hairstyle today? So this is how, by the way, I used to wear my hair when I had shorter hair. So I've got the slick side back 1920s inspired look, side swoop, but at the back, as you can see, it's tied back. Cameron's gone for the more... And I've um, got a uh, finished work, um, some roast potato grease here, <laughs> some savoy <some laughs> Spanish butter here, <laughs> with a little bit of burgundy parfait at the back here. Oh, look, a little bit of chocolate here. Uh, no, it looks good. It looks good. It suits you. Rough texture. It looks good. It suits you. Sometimes I wish I, I could have... As you can see, yeah. two different people. <laughs> Massive connection, though. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, absolutely. What you are. And that's just the thing. Do you know what? Um... <clears throat> A couple of people said that we looked so alike and our expressions were the same. And yes, 
Of course they, of course they are at times, absolutely they are. I mean, I shave every day, Cameron chooses not to shave every day, it suits him. Mm. I choose to use all different uh, hair products and things, Cameron chooses the same, very much the same, but you know what? We use the same aftershaves, Cameron uses mine a lot of the time, um, all different sprays and things like that what we use. We're pretty much the same on taste, aren't we? We like strong, sort of robust, strong out there um, smells, don't we, and fragrances yeah. and things. Yeah. Nothing like that. <laughs> I just noticed. Nothing like that after Sunday dinner. I just noticed. We, well, we, our mum is an absolutely amazing, uh, amazing in the kitchen. Absolutely amazing. Um, and Cameron always says that's where he gets it from. And our mum always, on a Saturday, she does an absolutely incredible curry or some spiced dish. And it's absolutely lovely. And I've just noticed on dear Cameron that he's got a certain amount of staining just here. Which... I actually used my head, and before we came on camera, I actually made sure that I looked and I gave my teeth a quick brush just to make sure <laughs> that I didn't have any of that. Yes, just here, you've got that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> if you like curries, <laughs> ask me, me which one it was. No, but the thing is... We don't actually live together either. No, we don't. That's just the thing. We don't actually live together. Cameron's got his house. Cameron's got his house with his partner and a little beautiful little girl. Um, a blessing from God, and me, I'm very much working on my career, this is my palace here, um, and yeah, I live in the family home, Cameron left quite a few years ago now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah it? quite a few years ago, but we're still very, very close, we see each other most days, we go out most days, leave my glasses alone, I'm mucking around with them, and right in front of us is a picture of our nan, who, it's right here, right here, which Cameron keeps looking at, by the way, and... She is our world. We sadly lost my nan back in May of last year, which is it's really, really difficult. It's very difficult every single day. But you know what? She is such a part of our lives Even still, though. every single day. And um, when I work, when I... Let's, let's stop all this. Let's just show. So, this is, this is my nanny Gwen. This is what it's all about. This lady here. Film star. Absolutely a film star. And I, and I uh, love my nana. Na nana? Nan? No. It was nanny. It was Nanny or Nan, and this was Nanny Gwen, and I absolutely idolise and love her so, so much. And now she's in heaven with, with the Lord and Jesus, and with my grandfather, and she is a part of my life every day, our life every single day. So that's what, when I'm doing my filming, when I'm at work, she's, she's part of it all. She's part of it all. And it's, it's really difficult every day. It's a battle every single day. But, um, so, do you know what, and what I would say, absolutely, right there, what I would say, absolutely, is yes, I'm the serious one, but... I think throughout this time as well, Cameron's sense of humour, and we bounce off of each other, but we get each other through difficult times. And whether that be career, whether that be job, whether that be family, nan, whether that be relationship, nobody in this life is perfect, even though you keep reminding me that I think I am perfect, which I don't think I'm perfect, by the way. But no, I really, really don't. Don't do that. So, so, so when we come in and we talk about these videos that are good for your health, <laughs> good for your mental health, good for relieving stress, it's because of the things that we've lived in the last couple of months. Um, and it is really important to us. And it's really important to, if we can help one or two people, if he can help one or two people, yeah, I'll start doing a bit more because it's, it's just a good thing to share in the future. But that's where we come from. That's what we do. He does. Yeah, and that's why we do the things we do. And hopefully some of the little things that we can say, tips we do or... Yeah, absolutely. Keep the little things that I do to make your life yeah. you feel better than that's the aim of the clip. And yeah, yeah, certainly. It's helped you. And hopefully Cameron knows this, but my channel is all about the, the bumpy, bumpy road of life. Yeah, absolutely, it certainly is. And sometimes I use my channel. I don't think I watch it, and, I really do. Um, which is great. That means a lot to me. Thank you. And uh, I'll be taking a starring role soon. <laughs> a starring role. He's already a starring role soon. Breathe in. Bit of timber there, though. That's yeah. what I will say. That's another thing. So, uh, my channel is all about the bumpy road of life. All the good things happen, bad things happen, achievements, low points, high points, all of these great Rough things. Rough smooth, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. I try to catch that on my channel. So I love to talk about things which I'm passionate about, reviewing products for fine hair, looking your best, confidence, skincare. We talk about big family celebrations, holidays throughout the year, all sorts of things. And feel good things, philosophical messages, getting you going in life, those type of things. Um, so yeah, that's what we're all about. But yeah, um, yeah. You brought up the whole weight topic, so let's talk about things about being twins. Okay, so there is a few differences between me and Cameron. So Cameron, I'm as you can probably guess, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Cameron weighs a little bit more than me. 
<laughs> but then you're very much into your food, aren't you? And I'll be honest, I do struggle with food. I struggle with eating, I'll be honest. And I think you know that as well. Yeah, yeah. I do. And um, about stress and worry, and sometimes that can sometimes make... It takes a like toll a on you, doesn't it? Whereas me, I just normally eat it up and spit it out, literally. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. So there is. So I do, I'll be honest, I struggle with food. At times, I absolutely do. And... Um, and I find actually that just the sight of food sometimes is a little bit overwhelming. And Cameron struggles to to, to sort of not appreciate that because I know he does, but to understand, I know he finds that a little bit odd. Um, and for me, do you know what, even at, at dinner um, this evening, Cameron's is an adult sized portion. I have a very, very small, almost like a child's portion. And even that isn't an, too much for me sometimes. So I it's struggle. always been the way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it has. Growing it's always up, been the way. <laughs> throughout school, always. A few, stuff off your plate. a few mouthfuls of food for me is usually enough to fill me up, whereas for Cameron, yeah, yeah I'll let you take that. But that you're, you're you, aren't you? Yeah. And you're, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't change him for the world, by the way. There's but a difference why there's, what, four, four and a half stone in between us. But when we were born, I don't remember a weight, but I was first, by the way, I was born first, and there's three minutes between us, I'm three, three minutes, minutes older. Yeah. And this is the baby of the family. Yeah. It still acts a baby, by the way. And, and the um, biggest one. No, and yeah, we have three, no, we don't have three brothers. I have three brothers. We have two other brothers. So we have our eldest brother, I don't men usually mention names on here, but we have our eldest brother. Then we have um, our next brother, Dion. Both have twins, by the way. And yeah, then um, Cameron has a little baby girl. Me, I hope to have children. I absolutely do. I haven't met the girlfriend or anything yet at the moment. I haven't met the future Mrs. Bradley Roderick. And um, oh, I'd be quite happy to take her name, by the way, as well. <laughs> um, I was like four or five. Um, no, Roderick. Absolutely, it has to be right. Right. Huge, beautiful house, four or five children. Absolutely, would love. Can you take us out there, get in touch. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Please don't take that. That was well. How can you say such a thing? But yeah, Cameron is. Um, yeah, what are you? Pretty content, really. Yeah, that's good. That's good, isn't it? And that's that's a big thing to say, isn't it? It certainly is. Pretty content. Yeah, but like you say, life is life. So you can take it the way you are, look up into your camera properly. Yeah, absolutely. You keep looking here. I told you it's here. Or look into your camera properly or look into your mirror. <laughs> Smile. Because tomorrow you're not promised another day. Take your yeah. day for today. Enjoy it. Shrug it off. Shut your eyes. Enjoy your sleep. And hopefully you'll go again tomorrow. <laughs> That's good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is really, really what's good. What's the worst that could have happened? You could have broke that into song that my way. My way. One of my favourite songs is my way. Why you did it my way? That's Frank Sinatra, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love that. You can sing those too, and the songs Cameron sings. We're not going there. No, Jake Bug though. No, we're not. A lot going of people there. thought that Cameron was like we're not Jake Bug. Whereas me, I'm more. I really love those. Love Michael Bublé's music, by the way. Love sort of Alfie Bow, Michael Ball, and um, the piano guys. Absolutely love. And those those songs where you can really get some heart in there, and you can a bit really of meaning to it. A little bit. I like of a bit of country too, don't I? As well, I like all of that kind of thing. Well. Music about uh, faith. Absolutely love that as well because faith is a huge, huge thing to me. It's got me through a lot. Um, and yeah, absolutely. So we have our differences, but yeah, I do. I have a good voice. Yeah. 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 Of course you did. You would say that, wouldn't you, on camera? I think yeah, it's it a bit better for me singing, but I'm always singing. By the way, so um, yeah, absolutely. So a little bit more of a snippet of us both. I'll leave it to Cameron, whatever he wants to say. <laughs> <laughs> and finish us up. So there you go. That's it, really. We'll be doing more together on the channel soon. I think we've got a few different things up and coming, haven't we? We have. A little few things to get Lots you get you interested. There's a few plans. Wait till the summer. Uh, <laughs> certainly, yeah. Wait till the summer. And then we'll be doing a few things out and about. Yeah, we're we going to start doing that, aren't we? Both my glasses, by the way. We'll be taking the channel up another level. Of certain things like that. Hopefully. Hopefully. But until then... I'll leave it to you. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for watching. And this is my twin brother, Cameron, who means the world to me. I'm Bradley. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thank you very much for being here. It means the world to both of us. And if you are watching this and you're feeling a bit down, you're feeling a bit low, always just remember that there is hopefully, fingers crossed for all of us, another day tomorrow. So please do enjoy life. Make time for you. And at the end of the day, stress will not add another minute to the end of your life. Bear that in mind. I know that all too well by losing somebody to us 
human and means the world to us. So on a very, very serious note, always make time for you. And if you have something you want to tell somebody, tell them for heaven's sake. Never, ever put it off. Okay, so on that note, thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you for joining us. And that means the world that you've been here. And from our hearts to yours, take care. And we will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now. Okay, so let's get you up. Extras, um... Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, I really just, can't feel we've this finished leg. filming, and I have a very tight fitting scene where I record. So Cameron's got a funny leg. Leg is absolutely dead. So let's just work it. Can you can you get up? <laughs> right, get up, move, move. Thank you. Right, okay. And on that note, thanks very much. We'll see you then. Bye for now.